Hello, my name is Ulla Radoi. I'm a PhD student in, an, in the Interfaces project that is an European project. And he, I am here today with Dr. Lisa Vacari that is uh, working at Eletras in Cotrone Trieste and uh, the institute is part of the project of the Interfaces project. I will start my interview with a few questions. So could you please tell us a few words on the uh, about the Eletras in Cotrone Trieste and how is, what is the role in the project? So thanks, uh, first of all, thanks for uh, the interview. And uh, it's my pleasure to, to be part of this project. So a few words on Electra. Electra is an international research center and we are specialized in the production of photons. So our photons comes from two machines, a uh, synchrotron, uh, Electra synchrotron and a uh, newer fourth generation free electron laser. So um, we will focus today on uh, the synchrotron electra because this is uh, what we use for the project interface. Um, a synchrotron is essentially a machine where uh, we produce light and this light has very special characteristics. First of all, it's a very broad. It goes from the infrared up to the hard X rays and uh, it's very intense, so very brilliant essentially. Uh, this allowed to perform a huge variety of experiments in this facility that, uh, for example, encompass uh, determination of uh, structure of molecules by X-ray diffraction, study of surfaces by, uh, by photoelectron spectroscopy, and many, many other techniques uh, that can uh, use essentially for characterizing materials, both uh, soft and dark materials. Uh, the very peculiar characteristics of Electra, but also of Fermi, is that uh, we are a research infrastructure so essentially we are open uh, to the scientists uh, from each part of the world uh, and they are welcome here for performing the experiments. So the access is free and then this uh, based on a peer review system. So the one that are best score, they can have access to the facility and essentially work with us uh, in order to perform the experiments they want to do. Uh, what's my role? Uh, so the second part of your first question, I'm the responsible of one of the laboratories, also called beam lines in electrosynchrotron at Trieste, and that the laboratory is called CCBO. That is the infrared beam line is mostly devoted uh, to, uh, I would say life science and, uh, uh, medical science or chemical science characterization. Okay. Next question. What is the role? of uh, Electra Syncotrone in the project interfaces. So, uh, as previously mentioned, uh, um, we are part of this project because you support your PhD. So, basically, I am uh, your co-supervisor uh, in trying to support and help you to reach and achieve the goals of your uh, PhD program. Specifically, uh, in this program, as you know better than me, <laughs> the idea is uh, to characterize new, uh, I would say, supports for biocatalysis, and especially we are uh, focus on porous glasses, essentially. And the idea was to use infrared in order to characterize uh, not only the, the support, so the biocatalyst, but essentially what is going on to your enzyme, to the enzyme that you trap inside these pores by using a infrared. So most of the people, they know that infrared spectroscopy is used for the characterization of vibrational vib vibration essentially, but it provides much more information than only the functional groups that are part of a molecule. Uh, it gives information, for example, for a protein on the folding state, which type of secondary structure are characterizing. So our goal is to try to characterize the enzyme that is trapped in your biocatalyst using infrared. This is something that is not straightforward with other techniques uh, because you, you have a low amount of material. You cannot uh, crystallize, for example, for the X-ray diffraction. So it was pretty challenging uh, to achieve the goal. Nevertheless, the instrumentation that is available in a synchrotron is not the instrumentation that is available conventional, uh, in conventional laboratories. Uh, we can perform experiments at different scales of spatial resolution. So we can go from the micro resolution scale up to na the nano resolution scale. And this is, was exactly the goal of our work together. So to try to exploit the 
best the performances uh, of the um, techniques, uh, infrared techniques for the characterization of your materials. Yes, thank you. Next question will be, what are the advantages of using the infrared tools that you have introduced? Um, the advantages, uh, uh, as uh, fairly mentioned also in my previous uh, answer, is that uh, for the characterization of, of an enzyme uh, that is trapped okay, inside the carrier, uh, there are not many approaches that can provide you uh, direct information on the folding state of the enzyme. For sure, you have a lot of wet chemistry that can provide information on the activity and so on and so forth, but not on, on, on the structure of the enzyme. And as we know, there is a very close relation between the structure and activity. So it is called structural activities a relationship that is fundamental. So the idea of this project is to go beyond the standard information that you can get from conventional chemistry on the activity of an enzyme on supporting on the biocatalyst in order to try to understand why it is exactly working in this way or not working and to relate this information to the structure that it has. Is Interfaces project the first project you work in in the field of green chemistry or and the sustainability? Uh, it's not our first project. Indeed, we had the opportunity to work uh, on a couple of projects uh, and that one was the, the, the follow-up of the first uh, that was uh, supported by Interreg program between Italy and Austria. And uh, the name of the project was uh, INCIMA, that is in, uh, Intelligent Characterization of uh, <clears throat> materials essentially and this project has uh, the um, the aim to characterize new materials produced by green chemistry that can be applied for a lot of application for example for the production of form for insulation of houses up to new adhesives so in order to find material that they can uh, reduce the environmental impact of the chemistry of petrol essentially uh, what is uh, maybe interesting to mention uh, related also to the, 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 the aim of the interfaces project is that, um, those, this project has been built, especially in the follow up in CIMA4 in close collaboration with the companies, uh, because we believe that companies has a very fundamental role in order to sustain and promote the green transition that we need for sure now. So, but also they need also very advanced characterization tools in order to optimize their processes and produce more efficient and more uh, green materials. So, uh, in this respect, I think that all electrosynchrotron estate can provide help and support. Okay. So, my, my last question would be, of course, about the company. So, are you open to work also to have also industrial collaboration to work with companies? Yes, so this industrial collaboration can be uh, in the same way that has been, for example, for Interfaces project or for the previously mentioned Chima project, that is pure collaboration. But in this case, uh, all the results has to be public, has to be published. Uh, but we can also work uh, in uh, under a regime of not disclosure agreement with the companies, and then obviously they are all the rights on the research. So basically what we do most of the time is to uh, uh, study the processes uh, of the company to try and understand uh, why in this process there is a failure and which is the best approach to solve this failure or to optimize a process. Uh, so companies are also welcome, but in this case, uh, as mentioned, uh, the, the, the access is not free, but is a charge, obviously, it, it is paid. And But uh, on the other side, the company can retain all the rights on the research. Okay, so thank you so much for your time and for your answer and it was a pleasure to interview you. It was a pleasure for me to work in this project and to know you, Yulia. <laughs> <laughs>